Hello and welcome to TFC. I am Naveen. This time we are in London and it's a rainy day. So let's take out our umbrella and visit a grand house. This luxurious 12 bedroom mansion was once called the most expensive house in the world and is now home to the world's biggest steel maker, Lakshmi Mittal. He was born in a small village in Rajasthan, India. At the age of 26, Lakshmi Mittal moved to Indonesia to set up a mini steel plant for his father Mohanlal Mittal. Later, he started acquiring loss-making steel mills across the world and made them profitable using the strategy of turnaround to build his empire. Now, 43 years later, he owns the world's largest steel and mining company, Asilo Mittal. His company produces more steel than the whole of US and UK combined and earns more revenue than major companies like Facebook, Unilever and FedEx. So let's take a ride witness the remarkable business empire of Lakshmi Mittal and his company Asilo Mittal. We will start our world tour from the coldest continent, Antarctica. Here, Asilo Mittal steel has been used in construction of world's first zero emission polar research station Princess Elizabeth in Antarctica. Moreover, the group has also manufactured steel for an under construction 156 meter long Antarctica supply research vessel. From Antarctica, let's travel to North America and reach Canada. We are right now in the port city of Hamilton. Here, the group owns one of Canada's largest steel plant. Moreover, the group also operates six more steel production facilities, iron ore mining plant at Montreuil, 420 km long railway line, and also operates Canada's largest private port, Port Cartier. Moving to US, the group owns North America's largest integrated steel plant in Chicago and the world's most productive steel mill in Cleveland which was even visited by the former US president overall in US Asilo Mittal operates over 20 manufacturing facilities iron ore and coal mines and employs over 18000 people around two times more than how many people Yahoo employs moreover Asilo Mittal is a major steel supplier for General Motors and Ford not only that a whopping 20% of all global car production is made from Asilo Mittal steel their steel has also been used in major US landmarks like one World Trade Center Rockefeller Center the new New York bridge and even in high tech submarines like USS Indiana navy ships the largest US built container ship and also aircraft carriers not only that New York's iconic Empire State Building was also made from structural steel supplied by Asilo Mittal's predecessor company Bethlehem Steel from New York we will move to Mexico here the group operates six steel manufacturing units iron ore and coal mines and is also the largest employer in the port city of Lazaro from North America let's take a ride on the world's second largest cruise ship Harmony of the Seas the gigantic ship has 2700 staterooms 20 restaurants 23 swimming pools and yes this whole cruise ship is also made from Asilo Mittal steel talking about ships the group also operates a shipping company and owns fleet of large panama bulk carriers moving to south america we will reach a country where world's first animated feature film was made argentina here asilo mittal operates five long steel manufacturing plants and holds a whopping 60% market share in nearby brazil the group is involved in iron ore mining and also operates 27 steel production facilities in brazil Asilo Mittal Steel has been used in Olympic Stadium, a football stadium, and a bridge in Rio de Janeiro. From Brazil, let's travel to Africa and land in South Africa. Here, 60% of all the steel used in South Africa is manufactured by Asilo Mittal. Going further, Asilo Mittal is the largest long steel producer in Morocco and also operates iron ore mines in Liberia. From Africa, let's move to Europe and land in Germany. Here let's watch a fashion show. This fashion show is for 
the German luxury clothing brand Escada. Escada is owned by Lakshmi Mittal's daughter-in-law. Moreover, in Germany, Asala Mittal operates four large steel plants. Their steel has been used in construction of the new German Parliament and Europe's largest rail station, Berlin Central. Moving to France, here the group operates 40 production sites and has around 18,000 employees, which is 70% of all the jobs in the steel industry in France. After France, we are back in London this time. Let's take time out and ride the world's longest tunnel slide. This is Arcelor Mittal Orbit, Britain's largest piece of public art, which is majorly funded by Lakshmi Mittal. Moreover, Lakshmi Mittal also has stake in football club Queen's Park Rangers, while Arcelor Mittal operates in Sheffield and Birmingham in nearby Italy. The group has recently acquired the largest steel plant in Europe. Moreover, in Europe, Arcelor Mittal is the largest foreign investor in Ukraine and Bosnia and is also the largest steel producer in Spain, Czech Republic, Poland and Romania. And the group is Luxembourg's largest private employer. From Europe, we will quickly travel to Australia. Here, the group manufactures steel blanks for automotive industry and is also the sole supplier of steel rails for the Sydney Metro project, Australia's largest public transport project. Finally, we have reached Asia. Here, Arcelor Mittal Steel has been used in major landmarks like Imperium Tower in Manila, Osman Ghazi Bridge in Turkey, Burj Khalifa in Dubai, Grand National Theatre in China. As we have reached China, let's travel to Hunan Province. Here, the group jointly operates an $800 million automotive steel facility and is also the largest foreign investor in the Chinese steel industry. Moreover, Arcelor Mittal is the largest mining and steel manufacturer in Kazakhstan and also operates a tube mill in Saudi Arabia. After our world tour, finally we will reach India. Decades after leaving India, Lakshmi Mittal is on the verge of acquiring one of India's leading flat steel manufacturers, SR Steel, for $5.9 billion. Lakshmi Mittal has not only created a massive business conglomerate but has also established IT Institute Management Institute funded Institute of Technology in Mumbai and has also established a community center in the village where he was born. Not only that, this company also operates charity foundations in Brazil, Argentina and has even contributed for flood relief in Bosnia. Lakshmi Mittal has certainly created an incredible conglomerate and has traveled a long way from a small village. All I can say is this is Lakshmi Mittal's massive business empire.